Some youth from Nekede community in Uweri West, local government's area of Imo State, have raised over 1.5 million naira to rehabilitate Nekede Umoma Futo Yagwa Trunk B Road. The road was one of those said to have been constructed by the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Huzodima, and inaugurated by President Muhammadu Buhari, along with others amid fanfare during his recent visit to the state. The youth chairman of the community, David Ugoma, while speaking about the reason for embarking on the project, said they couldn't fold their hands and watch the only road linking them to other parts of the metropolis remain in a terrible state, Daily Trust reports. He explained that the roads in Nekede Asian Kingdom started deteriorating in 1999, adding that no successful government has seen the rehabilitation of the road as important. He added that there are over 50,000 people from all parts of Nigeria and beyond living in the community. Ogoma also decried the poor state of roads in the Oweri West local government area, saying former governor Achike Udewa only did a small portion of the road during his tenure in office between 1999 and 2007. According to him, the road was awarded, constructed, completed, and commissioned on the internet during the tenure of Ikedi or Hahim between 2007 and 2011. He added that during the reign of Emeka Hedewa, he reawarded the road and mobilized the contractor to the site but was removed by the Supreme Court before construction started. But when Governor Hope Uzodima came on board, he gave a firm promise that he will rebuild the road giving the word of exhortation, exhortation from his Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Chief Declan Emelumba, that the governor has reawarded the road to another digital contractor and that in no distant time, the road will be fixed and become motorable. But since then, till now, nothing has been done on the road. It is very awful, he said. Ugoma called on the government's philanthropist non-governmental organizations and residents to assist in the ongoing rehabilitation of roads in the area. That is Nigeria for you. I'm sure a lot of people will not be surprised because they will tell you that hey, this, is, this has been happening for a very long time. That is how they do. And I could remember vividly when Buhari came to Himo State, there were roads that we were shown that they just used a paint. They just painted the roads like that, you know, for Buhari to just go and commission. And when you see that, it was just glittering. And they brought it out and they told us that those roads were just painted. People didn't take it because people knew that anything can happen. As far as Nigerian politicians are concerned, anything can happen. So now that this one is coming out, what would you expect? Because it was part of the road that Buhari commissioned. So who are you to blame? Are you going to blame Buhari or you are going to blame uh, the governor? Of course, it's not Buhari. Buhari just saw what they told him and when he saw it, everything was fine. And he had to commission it and he praised the governor for that. I'm sure with this report, the governor is going to come out, the state government is going to come out and say, no, 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 how can you say that? But at the end of the day, they always talk about infrastructure, even at the federal level and at the state level. But when you look Nigeria generally, there is nothing to write home about, everything about infrastructure. Even the rail, the train that they are boasting of doing, they are, they are constructing, some of the train some of the tracks are beginning to get forth are, are beginning to get spoiled under three years ah even if it stays five years don't say ah, even try say hey, what, what do you expect but go and check amounts of money being spent on those projects you'll be shocked you'll be surprised in all the western world developed countries if they tell you amounts of money they spend for those their projects and compared to what we do in nigeria you will cry because they will tell you they spend the money and you will not see anything on ground. In overall, when we talk about infrastructure, overall, when you see everything, will you even be proud that, yes, things are being done properly? Oh, Buhari is a disappointment. The reason why I say Buhari is a disappointment is that all this kind of a thing have been happening before he came on board and he talks about change. And at the end of the day, nothing is working. Nothing is, there's no difference. Rather, things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. As Nigerians, what do we have to do? Just to talk, just to create the awareness. After creating the awareness, maybe little, little by little by little, things will be will be changing. But these politicians, eh, 
Huh. Should I paint all of them with one brush? Because there, there are no difference. Because you just try to want, we want to give a benefit of the dust. Oh, don't just say all of them. Because majority of them, they are, they are, they are rogues. They are crooks. They are crooks. You would complain. We complain about Yahoo boys. But what the so-called leaders, the ones who are always boasting of being democratically elected, what they do? Oh, my goodness. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to think about it. Those who are in public offices, you wouldn't want to imagine what these guys are doing. All of those, uh, whether they are Boko Haram or they are whatever, or they are Ambro, or they are pickpocketers or whatever, believe you me, put all of them together. The kind of, the kind of politicians we have in Nigeria, all of those people to put together, they are not even up to what these politicians even do. I remember one of my friends was telling me that, uh, oh, even in the US, we, we, they have a wizard, witches and wizard. But the difference between those witches and wizard and the ones in Africa is that those ones in uh, all those US in abroad, eh, they wear suits. So the ones in, in Africa, you see that they are so look, they are looking uh, wretched, they are looking tattered, you know. But all those ones, eh, they are more wicked than the ones in Africa. You know, I'm just giving a kind of scenario so that you have an uh, uh, you have an understanding. Those ones will wear suits, but the ones in all those Africans, ah, you will see the ones you had. You don't even need to be told that this one now wish. You don't need to be told. So that is just the way you can really imagine those Yahoo boys and our politicians. Though they are wearing Agbada, oh, they were elected, or oh, they they are elected into office. But what they do, eh? Believe you me, you would not want to imagine what they do. This one are small. Do you know the kind of money these guys are stealing on a daily basis and they are wasting a lot of them? So what will not be left? They are not even ready to do anything for anybody. They will tell you that they have constructed roads. Mm, come back in three months' time. It's, it, 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 you, you, you will weep. You will weep. Oh my goodness. We thank God. Oh. We thank God for the, for, for the kind of people who are in Nigeria. Nigerian people. Because... This kind of a thing eh, is killing. Are you going to be crying? Or you are going to be laughing? You just have to say it, but you don't want to put it into your heart because it's it's killing. And when you begin to imagine that, when will all of these things stop? It is another sickness on its own. And that's why you see Nigerians, they just want to be happy all the time because if you begin to think about these things, then you will just kill yourself and die. And those who are assisting it, they will continue in their, in their, in their impunity and atrocities. Are you going to be surprised? It has been. Who is going to change it? Nobody. You can imagine Fashola telling us that uh, before Buhari came on board, that from Shagam to Ore, or from Shagam to Beni, it used to be two days. I don't even know what he's talking about. And a lot of people have come out and say, who are you telling? Are you telling foreigners or you are telling Nigerians who are living in Nigeria? And they will come out with both faces and begin to tell lies. And you will like, what is happening? Are these guys normal? So guys, let's say your opinion and know your thoughts on this.